Welcome to ViewChem, the chemistry animations channel. Pitting and waterline corrosion. Corrosion is a chemical or electrochemical or biochemical attack on the surface of the metal, leading to its destruction. Metal Undergoing corrosion It should be understood that, corrosion is a reverse process of metallurgy. In the extractive metallurgy, a compound of the metal, like metal oxide, will be converted to metal, by reduction. Metal oxide on reduction forms metal. When metal undergoes corrosion, a compound of the metal is formed. Metal undergoes corrosion forms a compound of the metal. So, corrosion is a reverse process of metallurgy. Types of corrosion Corrosion is basically two types. There are, chemical corrosion and, electrochemical corrosion. Chemical corrosion is mainly of three types. Oxidation corrosion Corrosion by other gases and liquid metal corrosion. Electrochemical corrosion can be further studied as galvanic corrosion Concentration cell corrosion, stress corrosion, crevice corrosion, soil corrosion, intergranular corrosion, pitting, and microbial corrosion. Please note that waterline corrosion is a form of concentration cell corrosion. Pitting corrosion is a type of highly localized electrochemical corrosion. That leads to the formation of pits or holes in the base metal. It takes place due to the development of small anodic area and large cathodic area as a consequence of cracking of protective coating on the base metal. The large cathodic area requires more electrons for the completion of corrosion reaction. So, oxidation, that is, Corrosion takes place at anode intensively, liberating electrons. This leads to the formation of pits that deepen as the corrosion progresses. Cracking of protective coating may take place due to chemical attack or stress in a particular area or improper coating of coating metal or scratches on the coating metal or turbulent flow of a fluid over the coated metal. Sometimes, more than one factor may be responsible for the cracking of protective coating. Pitting corrosion can be visualized as base metal, protective coating, point of attack due to chemicals or mechanical activity. As a consequence, cracking of protective layer takes place. This leads to the formation of small anodic area and large cathodic area. At anode, oxidation takes place, that is, metal loses electrons. As a result, there takes place the formation of a pit or hole. Oxidation of metal and simultaneous formation of pit. The liberated electrons are quenched, at cathode, by the formation of, corrosion product. So formed corrosion product, is deposited on the protective coating.
At this juncture, further oxidation of metal takes place. As a result, the pit, or, hole, further deepens. Continuous oxidation of metal Further deepening of pit Again, the liberated electrons are quenched, at cathode, by the formation of, more amount of, corrosion product. Pitting corrosion may be initiated, below the water drop also. Base metal. Protective coating. Falling of the water drop, on the protective coating. This leads to the formation of, small anodic area. And, large cathodic area. At anode, oxidation takes place, that is, metal loses electrons. As a result, the area under the water drop, gets corroded. Oxidation of metal, below the water drop, and, simultaneous formation of cavity, due to corrosion. The liberated electrons are quenched, at cathode, by the formation of, corrosion product. So formed corrosion product, is deposited on the protective coating. Metal like, copper, aluminum, chromium, and, cobalt, undergo pitting corrosion. Alloy like, stainless steel, also undergoes pitting corrosion. If halide, or, hypochlorite, or, sulfide ions, present in the corroding medium, pitting corrosion takes place, at a faster rate. Sometimes, corrosion products may cover the pits. So, detection of pits becomes difficult. As a result, pitting can cause, sudden failure of a machine. In fact, pitting corrosion is more dangerous, than, uniform corrosion. Pitting factor, is the ratio of the, depth of the deepest pit, to the, average penetration. To avoid pitting corrosion, following would be useful. Avoiding the use of, corrosive chemicals, proper coating of the, base metal, avoiding stress, at certain areas, proper handling of the, coated metal, without scratches, avoiding turbulent flow of a fluid, over the coated metal, use of, Corrosion inhibitors, proper maintenance of, environmental factors, like, temperature, humidity, and, pH, and, adaptation of, cathodic protection. Waterline corrosion, is a type of, electrochemical corrosion, in particular, concentration cell corrosion, that is, differential aeration corrosion. For example, in the water tanks, the metallic part, below the surface of the water, is less oxygenated, and, functions as anode, while, the metallic part above the water surface is, more oxygenated, and is cathode. It is well known, that, oxidation of the metal takes place, at anode, leading to corrosion. The liberated electrons at anode, are quenched, at cathode, to yield the, corrosion product. Water tank Filled with water Part of the water tank, just below the surface of the water, is less oxygenated, hence small anodic area, is developed. While, the upper part of the water tank, above the surface of the water, is more oxygenated.
So, large cathodic area, is formed. At anode, oxidation takes place. As a consequence, electrons are liberated. The liberated electrons at anode, are quenched at cathode, to yield, the corrosion product. The corrosion product is deposited. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.